Hey guys, welcome back to At The Bluff. I know it's been a while since my last video, and so I just wanted to give you a quick update of what things are going on. Um, as of this recording, we have about 11 or 12 days until our first softball games out here. And so we're just trying to get the last few things done. As a part of our infield renovation this past fall, we wanted to get our side warning tracks a little spooced up, I guess you'd say, souped up. And so we went ahead and edged the grass edge and made it a lot straighter than they were, as well as adding a lot of ag lime, our dirt material that our fields consist of. And so we brought in about 150 tons of this material on to all eight fields on their side warning tracks. So here you can see I am taking our John Deere drag and using the front blade to push down any kind of hills or whatnot to try and get it as flat as possible before we roll it. So we just brought in dump trucks or pro gators full of ag lime and dumped them and then used our rakes to mainly pull and push them to the edge and kind of feather out from the edge down into the low parts in the middle of the side warning tracks. The big reason why we're doing this project is because we are affected by a lot of rain and the way our fields were designed, I guess you'd say, that they are supposed to drain from the infield all the way down to the outfield fence using these warning tracks. So we get a lot of erosion of material and it's just a cumulative effect of over the years and never really adding much material to these. They got pretty bad. They were really gullied out and there was quite a drop from the grass edge down to the actual warning track. So as a safety precaution, we wanted to get this fixed as soon as possible and we went ahead and bought the material and took advantage of a slower time of the year to get this done. So as you can see here, I'm using our three gang roller. We just fill these kind of barrels with water for weight and then I'm dragging it behind, behind our Pro Gator, John Deere Pro Gator 220A, I believe. It's a 2015 Pro Gator. Very nice, it holds a lot of weight and is a manual. So here I'm just going back and forth over what I, I just drug trying to get it as, as flat and as compacted as possible so it won't run off the next time it rains. Then for our really bad warning tracks as this one, we used a BOMAG, I guess, BOMAG roller. It is self-propelled and actually has a vibrate function, which is really nice. So we got those all done, all of our side warning tracks, and now it's time to clean our parking lots from all the renovation to different phases. We've had to dump topsoil, ag lime, spoil, sod, and dirt. And then to the right there you can see we had a little burn pile. We had some straw bales left up from last year and we wanted to get rid of them and didn't want to just throw them away or throw them in a field to decompose. So we decided to burn them as we have a burn permit with the City of Liberty. And so we went ahead and picked that pile up. And then as you can see, I'm trying to broom all this crap into one pile to scoop up. It's a little wet the day I was doing it. Uh, it has since dried out. And as our, in our next segment, you can see that it did a, a lot better job once it was dried out. The plan is to get this as clean as possible so that people can see the little bit of lines we have left in our parking lots. In this video, you really can't see any of our lines. Um, so we're planning on having them repainted here in the next week or so before the game start. Here's another little segment of um, another person on our crew using our 1445 with the broom attachment. And this is when it was dry. So he's pushing all this ag lime, this big ag lime pile that was here. You never can really scoop it all up with your skid loader or tractor bucket. So he's brimming it into supposed to be another pile to pick up. Um, it's kind of hard to see what all going on with that much dust flying. And so he's kind of throwing it into a mulch, mulch bed with those trees. But that's all right. We're going to go through and remulch everything. 
uh, sometime this spring. And so we'll just kind of rough up all that mulch and try to hide as much agum as possible. If not, we might just kind of try to blow it into piles and scoop it out and then remulch on top of it. And that is about all I have for you. This is an overview of our fourplex that is field nine with the grass infield, the big grass infield, and our other fields. Everything looks kind of bleak with the uh, all the brown grass around, but here in the next week we should see a huge improvement if we keep getting a little bit of moisture. Thanks for watching. At the